Okay, I got the new water line. We're gonna install it in the humidifier. I'm gonna show you with this new humidifier that is not installed on the ductwork. That way you get a good view of it. Here's the water line. It's gonna come with a plastic ferrule. This is a ferrule and a compression nut. And the end of the water line is gonna go right inside the end of your water solenoid valve like so. So let's get to it. Let me show you how it feeds into there. Right after I get done with this video, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna install this on the one that's broke. In the bottom of your humidifier frame, you have a hole right here. That's where the water line comes out and then feeds over into the solenoid valve. So that is where I'm feeding this line right now. You cannot do it with the compression nut and the ferrule on it. So you gotta feed it through first. It's easy as that. You want, you're gonna, you're gonna eventually, um, it'll get pushed forward with the nut. Then we're going to take the water line, we're going to slide it into the, we're going to slide this edge of the water line into the valve and then we're going to slide the compression nut down and secure it, like so. So slide that as far as it go, then you want to push the ferrule down so it's touching the valve. You want to make sure your water line stays pushed into the valve as you tighten down the compression nut. Once you get it finger tight, you're going to take a wrench and tighten it down. It's just plastic. It doesn't have to be extremely tight. Just snug it up and then if you can check it for leaks once you get it going. Brace your solenoid valve because you don't want to break these plastic, uh, the plastic frame, the screws are just in the, it's reinforced plastic, but if you use the wrench and the torque of using the wrench could bust your humidifier frame where those screws are. So always brace your solenoid valve when you're tightening it, like so. That's pretty tight. Then, you want to make sure the water line is run properly, set in the first groove, the second groove, and then this is the end that busted off. I hope you can see it. See this end right here? That's the end that busted off, and it's supposed to go down into this hole right here. That's what holds this in place, so it makes sure it puts the water into the right place and you don't have leaks. So then take this down, snap it in place. That's it. The water line is installed correctly. Then remember, take your water panel pad, the drain nipple sticking down, put that in place first. Be careful when you're sliding it past your nozzle that we just put in up top. Snap it down. Front of your humidifier, flip it over the edge, snap it down, plug it in, turn it on. Done. That was for the April Air 700 series. They're all pretty much the same. They all have a water feed tube. If they're a drain through uh, water panel type humidifier, they all need the water panel replaced, preferably yearly. Um, go by manufacturer's recommendations. I do mine yearly. They all have some sort of feed tube. They all have some sort of solenoid valve. This valve can be replaced very easily. Maybe I'll do a video on that later if anybody wants. But that's it. I hope it helped. I hope you got some uh, tips out of this and you're able to repair your own humidifier 
can save you a lot of money. I'll put the links to the parts down below where you can get them. You can pretty much find them online anywhere.